This is what the red carpet has become. From TV specials, magazine covers, and internet articles, award shows are less about celebrating film and more about who's wearing who. Before I let you go, who are you wearing this evening? Show us, show us your outfit here. Before I let you go, who are you wearing this evening? Who are you wearing? Thanks. And if you look back, the reason that this all exists is because of this, the red carpet. But how did the red carpet become a staple of award shows and synonymous with the Hollywood elite? The first known reference of rolling out the red carpet comes from Agamemnon, the 458 BC play written by Greek writer Aeschylus. The play sets the scene where King Agamemnon returns home from the Trojan War, and his wife lays out a path of crimson red. But Agamemnon refuses to walk the carpet, because the color red was considered a divine color reserved just for the gods in ancient Greece. And he was just a mortal man. Even more than 2,000 years ago, the idea of a red carpet was associated with those higher than typical mortal men, aka the stars of today versus us at home watching the award shows from our couches. But it's not so much the carpet that is deemed special as it is the color red. Red has been the color for royalty for years. In the 1200s, only the cardinals of the Catholic Church would wear red. Red became synonymous with high power individuals, royalty, and the elite. But it wasn't just some arbitrary decision to make red the color of high-ranking men. It had to do with the dye itself. Before synthetic dyes were created, the scarlet color was incredibly expensive and difficult to make. It was made by crushing female cochineal insects. So, the people who could afford them were inevitably of high status. So not only was the dye expensive, but so was the material of the carpets because they needed to be handwoven at the time. The carpet dyed scarlet was associated with those in high power, and that notion was maintained throughout the years. In 1821, James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States, stepped off of a riverboat in South Carolina and onto a red carpet. And the iconic phrase, the red carpet treatment, was first used by railroad companies in the early 20th century. In 1902, an express passenger train run by New York Central Railroad welcomed its passengers aboard with a red carpet, which was thought to help guide the riders to the train and made it so passengers' feet never had to touch the pavement of the platform. The advertising for the train showcased its speed as a measure of class and royalty and began using the phrase red carpet treatment. The red carpet became a little more accessible to everyone, not just presidents and royalty. But you still had to be able to afford the tickets if you wanted the luxurious treatment. It wasn't adopted by Hollywood's elite until 20 years later, when Sid Grauman, the owner of the Egyptian theater in Hollywood, unfurled the red carpet in 1922. The first ever Hollywood movie premiere, Robin Hood starring Douglas Fairbanks, was happening at this theater, and he wanted to convey the theme of opulence carried over from the luxurious railroads. The movie itself had cost a whopping $1 million at the time to make, and Grauman wanted to pull out all the stops for the premiere. Since that moment, the red carpet and Hollywood became synonymous. It solidified itself as a symbol of wealth, status, and a place for Hollywood's elite to present themselves. The red carpet wasn't introduced at award shows until 1961, with the Academy Awards at the Santa Monica Civic Auditorium. And within a few years, the tradition of filming the arrival of guests was born. Barbara Streisand's sequin suit, Diane Keaton's famous menswear-inspired suit, Cher, Bjork, Halle Berry, and all the iconic looks that have come since have cemented the red carpet as a platform for actors and actresses to showcase high fashion. Jennifer Lopez's green Versace dress at the 2000 Grammys was talked about so much that it is cited by Google's president, Eric Schmidt, as the catalyst for the creation of Google Images. Since then, the red carpet has become its own culture, with television programs and specials being dedicated just for judging the outfits of celebrities. But just because the red carpet revolutionized Hollywood fashion and culture doesn't mean that it has disappeared from high-status individuals elsewhere. The red carpet was used at the royal weddings, when the U.S. president disembarks Air Force One, and at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. The red carpet serves as a reminder of the glitz and glamour that separates us normal folk from the high-profile status of celebrity. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And ring the bell below, that way you're notified whenever we post a new video.